Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Virgos. And this is going to be for the week of the 9th through the 15th of April. I will be using my Affirmators Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using Learning Tarot cards. I will also be coming live tomorrow at 1 p.m., which will be Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For my friends who are overseas, just follow New York time, okay? And we'll just chat. So this is for you, Virgo. The Five of Cups. You feel a little upside down emotionally. Empty. The Hermit. Maybe you need to go within and see what's going on. Maybe some inner work is needed. The Eight of Pentacles. You're getting out of your financial situation, whatever it is. You're starting to break out. The Page of Swords, you're waiting for something or you're spying on someone. Oh, are you very alert? You're either waiting on a message or you're spying on someone. Or you think someone is spying on you. That's why you are alert. That's why you are alert. You need to speak up. The Two of Wands. Mm, waiting for something, huh? I see you've got like a map in your hand with some travel plans you're waiting for, hoping for. It's going to make you happy, is it, with the family? The Ten of Cups. The Magician. You have everything you need to create the magic that's inside of you. The Fool. This is a new beginning. And the seven of wands. You are above whatever your struggles are or your challenges are. So let's see the five of cups. The Hanged Man and the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> You're a little sad or you're a little emotional. It has something to do with making a decision where somebody gave you a romantic proposal. Is that this trip? So you get the Hanged Man and the Knight of Cups. Over the Five of Cups. Somebody gave you an offer. The Hermit, you're going to go with him. And I got the Nine of Pentacles here. <clears throat> you're reaping your rewards. That's why you're coming out of your financial situation. And I got the Ten of Pentacles. 
the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles you are reaping your benefits whatever it was that you planted you are seeing your rewards right now the income well actually you might not have planted nothing it was probably by accident that you got you came into this it was unexpected income whatever it was however it was is getting you out of your financial situation you're in okay something from the past some kind of childhood thing something returning or you going somewhere Someone for the past, from the past. You're thinking of someone from the past or someone from the past is coming. Or you receive this money from someone from the past. It gave you some balance and peace. Temperance card and the Six of Cups and the Temperance card. But why are you so alert or on edge? People are looking at you. Somebody's looking at you. I mean, it's possible. Possible. And the Page of Swords, you know, that says that that could be like spying, being nosy. Either you being nosy or somebody being nosy watching you. You're going to have clarity soon in regards to that. <clears throat> and it may restore your balance a little better. A little bit. It will restore your balance when you have clarity in this situation. Just could be some people maybe being jealous or something. I don't know. Let's keep going. So we got the Ace of Swords and we got the Two of Pentacles. Now you could be a little off balance because of this situation. But you're going to have clarity. You're going to have new ideas. You're probably going to figure out who it is. Two of Wands. Got the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Hmm. <laughs> you got the Ten of Cups here too. Happiness, happy family. Just happiness, overall happiness. Oh, I got goosebumps all over. It's coming in, okay? I say it's coming in. You just need to believe your happiness is coming in. It's coming in really, really fast, okay? And enjoy it while it's here. You enjoy it. And I got the Seven of Cups. And I got the Knight of Pentacles. You got a lot of opportunities opening up for you. Lots of options and choices. And the Knight of Pentacles, you just need to have patience, my love. You got the routine down. You know, you're doing the same thing or you, you know, whatever it is, it seems like it's the same thing over and over and over, but things are about to change for you, okay? It's coming. You got a lot of opportunities. And remember, you are the magician. What the hell? Oh. So the magician... You're going to have some success. I got the Six of Wands and I got the Queen of Wands. You just had some, you're going to be recognized for something. That could be what it is, huh? You feel uncomfortable with that? I got the Six of Swords and the Queen of Wands. So you were successful in something, some, some opportunity. And the Queen of Wands, this could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius that's within your environment also, okay? This person, uh, this, or maybe this is how you feel, like good things are happening now. You know, you feel full of life and you feel lively and, you know, you're just feeling you, feeling good, feeling you. And there's a new beginning. And the lovers and the hierophant. I will say a new beginning where love is concerned. It might be with a fire energy. And it's going to lead to a marriage. 
the lovers and the hierophant. So then we have the seven of wands. The Queen of Swords and the Fool. Mm -mm, it's not fire energy. You're feeling just full of yourself. You're feeling full of life. You know, you're feeling good in a good way. You know, not full of yourself like in a, like in a, mm, look at me kind of, you know, snide kind of way. Nothing like that. You're like, I'm feeling good. I met somebody, this is feeling good, it's going to lead to marriage, I have that feeling, that person might be the Queen of Swords, that could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, and with that person, you will have a new beginning, and you will be above your challenges, but please remember, we all have free will, things can change. You just got to believe in yourself. I love you. You take care of yourself and I will see you soon. And tomorrow, Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye.